Museums are these cathedrals of what humans have made, what humans have collected and named. I've always been the lover of the Gesamtkunstwerk, the cabinet of curiosity. I really see those cabinets as all of those things displayed together in this wonderful conversation. These things tell stories, so the museum is a repository of stories. I have my proclivities with Orientalism and Chinoiserie, so those, of course, I gravitated to, but even then I haven't touched the tip of the iceberg, I don't think. I could spend my lifetime in this one museum working in response. It's a lifelong passion. The pieces I replicate, I would like to own them. I can't afford them. I can make this thing and then I can own a simulation of it. But then there is a relationship that unfolds by studying something very closely. There is love that is engaged with in learning that brush stroke or seeing how the original artist did it. The vandalism of pollution. It really irritates me. It really worries me that these containers, single-use plastics, are deemed single-use. As you know, the microplastics have made it into our, our systems, so I see it as also a self-portrait. I'm not saving the earth by doing my work, but it is what I am surrounded by. Children learn by mimicking and artists learn by copying. Walter Benjamin writes about mimicry and I think everything is copied. I think I was born to do what I do. I've done this sort of all my life. I've collected plastics, I've always made copies of things and I love the philosophy behind artifice. You know, trompe l'oeil, painting, fooling the eye. Just the word represent, represent. What is the original and what is the copy? Does the original matter anymore? You see a photocopy and it gets distorted over time. Our chromosomes do it. It is in us, the copying of our own cells and division. And so it seems like a worthy thing to do.